Welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. In this video, we are going to discuss about a topic, monoclonal and polyclonal antibodies. First of all, what is an antibody? Antibodies are globular proteins or immunoglobulins synthesized by plasma cells or T cells against an antigen that stimulated its production. The region of the antibody that interacts with the antigen is called as paratop. Here you can see that this is the region. Uh, in, in the antibody molecule it is a Y-shaped structure. So this region is the paratop, the region that interacts with uh, the antibody and antigen. Antigen antibody interactions are very specific. Each antibody is designed to interact with a specific epitope that is present on antigen. Now, now moving into antigen. An antigen is any foreign molecule that may be majority of them are proteins, nucleic acids or polysaccharides that can interact with cells of the immune system and could elicit an immune response. Suppose this is a suppose this is a bacterium that has entered the system. This pathogen or antigen has a number of surface epitopes or antigenic determinants. Epitopes are actually regions that regions or antigens that interacts with antibody. So what happens is that upon entry into the blood system, these are detected by B cells carrying an antibody that is specific specifically directed against this epitope. So you can see it is in orange color. So this is antibody A and that has in, a B cell A with this specificity has interacted with this and epitope. Now what is happening is that these B cells have activated resulting in the proliferation of a clone of cells having the same specificity. Later these differentiates to form plasma cells and memory cells. Plasma cells are responsible for secretion of antibodies into the bloodstream. Millions of antibodies are produced and that will specifically interact with only these epitopes. You can see right these, these and these, these epitopes. And that is happening with other epitopes also. You can see this in, in green color. Uh, B cells are act specifically B cells are activated. Here also the same thing happens. It differentiates to form a clone of cells with specificity towards these green, green epitope. And that is the same thing happening with this antibody C, the antibody C. Here, here also that specific B cells is activated forming plasma cells and memory cells. And memory cells are not shown here. It has a long lifespan and that is responsible for immunologic memory. So these plasma cells will secrete antibodies into the bloodstream and that's, that will interact with all the pathogens having these uh, different epitopes. Now, a pathogen has many epitopes and can elicit many B cells to produce antibody producing plasma cells. This thus serum contains antibodies produced from many clone of B cells or plasma cells. This serum has antibodies which are polyclonal in nature. Now moving into the detail, what is what are polyclonal antibodies? Polyclonal antibodies are produced if Suppose this is an antigen with four epitopes. We have injected this antigen into an animal system and uh, we are taking this serum, isolate the serum and uh, on analysis we found out that a number of antibodies are produced. That is this particular pathogen has more than four epitopes so there will be four antibodies. So antibodies produced in an animal in response to a typical antigen are heterogeneous as they are formed by several clones of plasma cells. Or called as polyclonal. The reason is antigens are multivalent. An antigen has many epitopes, and each epitope can initiate a B cell to produce different antibodies with different specificity. So we will be getting a mixture of antibodies that is often referred as polyclonal antibodies that are that arise from different B cells or plasma cells. These epitopes will induce antibody production by different plasma cells. That is why antibodies produced in response to an antigen are called polyclonal. Polyclonal. Now, 
Uh, we mentioned what are all polyclonal antibodies in the last slide. You can see right here in the serum, uh, we will be getting all the four a mixture of antibodies against different epitopes. You can see right here different antibodies will bind to uh, this antigen. Now, what are monoclonal antibodies? Monoclonal antibodies are antibodies that arise from a single clone of cells. They are homogeneous. It consists of antibody with a single specificity and arise from a single clone of plasma cells. So, we need to have some technology to develop monoclonal antibodies. And that is the hybridoma technology that was developed by Kohler and Mies team and has been widely used for the production of MABs. These monoclonal antibodies are highly useful in diagnostic tests and in research. Now, you can see right here these antibodies, monoclonal antibodies that is produced by hybridoma technology. In this test tube, you can see there is only one type of antibody, antibody with a single specificity that, that is produced by a single clone of cells. This epitope 2 has resulted in the production of antibody 2. Uh, similarly, 3 has resulted in the production of antibody 3 and similarly, the 4 has resulted in the production of antibody 4. These are monoclonal antibodies that is all these in each test tube there is an antibody with single specificity that are produced by a single clone of plasma cells. You can see right here, this is the plasma, this is the antibody that triggered the secretion of numerous antibodies with a single specificity. For more detailed immunology notes, log on to our website www.biologyexamsbury.com. Thanks for watching.